Hello everyone, this is your designer Simone here. I've been learning Blender for six months now, on and off. It's kind of like a toxic relationship. Not gonna lie, it's been pretty horrible. That's why I want to make feminine tutorials. Today we're following up with the Sandy Lang trend and make a ribbon with me in Blender. But before we get started, I have to do some witchcraft real quick. Okay, I'm almost done. I'll see you in Blender. Alrighty, let's get started. A to select everything, X to delete everything everywhere all at once. And then we're pressing Shift A to add a surface. We're going to select NURBS curve. And now let's go to the right side all the way down to the curves tab. And under active spline, we're clicking U next to the endpoint and it'll make the endpoints to align with the X line. Don't know if you can hear the birds outside, but anyways. Next step, we are um, switching to the edit mode. Um, what we're gonna do now essentially is to make the right parts of the ribbon, like this part of the ribbon, we wanna make a cute, nice little curve. Um, yep, we're in the edit mode. I want to bring these two vertices into the center. That's how we do it. Alrighty. And now I kind of want it to make a little bit more curvy. That's why we are adding um, more vertices. We press A to select everything and then right click, subdivide it. There we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, did I count it right? No. We have six vertices right now. Amazing. Uh, I probably want to stretch it out a little bit. Um, yeah, that looks kind of cute. And we want to make a copy. We're pressing A to select all the vertices, Shift D to copy and Z and move it up a little bit. Amazing. And now we press A again to select all the vertices in the scene and press F to make a surface. There we go. We have, we have this part of the ribbon now. What we're gonna do now is go to object mode and we're gonna create this part of the ribbon. I don't know what is it called. English is confusing. Um, we're pressing Shift D to make a copy. And we're gonna move it down a little bit. And now let's go to edit mode. What we're gonna do is um, delete all of these vertices because we don't need it. It's It needs to be in an open curve, not like a closed curve. There we go. Yay, we have the second part of the ribbon. Now what we're gonna do is just adjust it to the shape that you want. You don't, you don't necessarily have to follow what I do. Just do whatever your heart tells you because we don't play with rules. I think that looks kind of cute. Now I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit and make sure these two vertices are kind of overlapping with this tibbity top already. I'm quite happy with it. So what we're gonna do now is select this part and the upper part, Command J to make it connect so it's one object and Let's go to the modifier and add the butterfly mirror so it mirrors to the left side. Yay! Now we have a ribbon! I'm gonna press R, Y, 90 degrees to make it stand up. And we're just adjusting the sizing of it a little bit. Now, if we want, we can add a texture to it. So let's go here and add a material to it. 
I want the color to be red because that's the color that I am wearing today, I guess. I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Um, oh, forgot to mention, this is my first ever proper Barbie. I bought it from Kmart after watching the movie Barbie, of course. Um, yeah, it was a pretty emotional moment. I felt like I healed my inner child. Anyways, I'll see you in the next tutorial. We'll see you later.